All right, guys, so this story today is simply a slap in the face. That's right, it's a slap in the face from the Democrats who have been preaching about, oh, how you need to be safe during this pandemic, how not spreading the virus is so important, okay? And how, I mean, listen, COVID has single-handedly taken over our country. It's taken over our society, right? Everything we do is based off of that. And you would think that during a time like this, that you would put aside your long-term plans of essentially trying to win over (laughs) <laughs> you know the latino vote right which that's because that's really what all of this is about with the democrats is winning a latino vote because they think latinos in the long term are going to be the largest voting block in this country that that's the democrat bet right that don't let anybody tell you any different that's what a lot of this is about but you would think that during a time like this they would put their political ambitions aside to really start to enforce some common sense immigration policies because right now um what sense does it make to let illegal immigrants into this country when we have this once in a lifetime pandemic that's the democrat framing it's not my framing that's the democrat framing they said that this is a once in a lifetime pandemic right and these states that decide that you know what we're not gonna be authoritarian we're gonna open up let people live their lives and make their own decisions about their own personal health those states are being criticized by biden and the progressives you know for freedom while at the same time biden is releasing immigrants who test positive for COVID into the u.s illegals again what what type of sense does it make it makes everything you say or you said about the virus seem like a joke because you're, you're not putting the virus in this pandemic before your political ambitions before your basically uh vote buying agenda because that's all it is it's about winning the hispanic vote and <laughs> quite honestly i mean hey the democrat strategy i mean it makes sense i mean that they're, they're, they're just using the data and, the, and the numbers to make sure that their party is viable long term so i don't blame them for it but i think that at the same time you would think that they would hold off on something like this during a pandemic but see (laughs) even despite this pandemic they don't want to put america first they want to put america last because some democrats have even suggested that we should be releasing illegals into this country who may have the virus simply to keep the virus was spreading in other foreign countries right how ridiculous is that this is an america last agenda so let's read more it's a report that border crossers released into the u.s by Biden officials are testing positive for covid and again this this should make a lot of people upset because it, it undermines everything that the democrats have talked about in regards to this pandemic everything Border crossers released into the interior of the United States by the Department of Homeland Security officials have tested positive for the coronavirus, just as uh, President uh, Joe Biden has denied that there is a crisis at the U.S.-Mexican border. After taking office, Biden reinstated the catch and release program where border crossers are freed into the U.S. interior while they await asylum and uh, immigration hearings that many do not ultimately attend, instead opting to live illegally in the country. Bam, there you have it. What's the point of reinstating a program like this? You couldn't wait, you know, a year, right? That's what they say to the to the governors like Greg Abbott that decided to open up the state. Wait, wait, no, you couldn't wait for the vaccine. You could you couldn't wait to to we're in a little better situation to open up. Well, Biden, I got a question. You couldn't wait just a little bit longer to move forward with your agenda on the Latino vote. You couldn't wait a little bit longer to reinstate the catch and release program. You, as soon as you got an office, you had to do it. So you're releasing people into the United States untested during a pandemic. Again, how, how do you justify this? How do you justify this? I, I don't get it. I don't get it. 
Aside from about 25,600 migrants enrolled in the now canceled Remain in Mexico program, uh, border crossers uh, released into the U.S. interior are not required to test negative for the coronavirus. Instead, communities along the border are being forced to test border crossers themselves. A report by NBC News on Tuesday confirmed that border crossers are testing negative for the coronavirus uh, after being released uh, by DHS officials into the U.S. interior. A report by NBC News on Tuesday confirmed that border crossers are testing positive for the coronavirus after being released by DHS officials into the U.S. interior. So, so, not only is the Biden administration not testing them, right, before they release them, it is now on the border communities to test these illegal immigrants. It's now on the border community. So you put the onus on basically Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, you know, all these places that are at the border. Now you're putting the responsibility on these states and these border towns. Instead of doing your job, which is to protect the American citizens and getting tough on illegal immigration during a time in which, yeah, we can't be having uh, all these people come to this country right now. And this ain't the time for all that. Okay, that ain't the time for it. But no, Biden is putting his 2045 Democrat Hispanic vote agenda ahead of everything else. They put it ahead of everything. And guys, I mean, this is what Democrats do. Again, I don't really blame them for it, but this is what they do. They take a look at the numbers and they say, listen, this is what society's moving towards. We want to get there. It's the same thing. It's like when I showed you guys, um, what is it? Generation uh, Z or X, something like that. Anyway, so if you was born after 1997, up until 2003, people were born between that in that generation. 15% of them identify as LBGTQ. That's why all these corporations and the Democrats are pushing this agenda so hard because the numbers are showing that as each generation goes by, that more people in that generation are identifying as LBGTQ. So the Democrats just take a look at the numbers and they just say, hey, how can we appeal to these people in the future? How can we get a large Democratic vote base? That's what they're doing. Right. That, that's what they're doing. This is where all this comes from. So, I mean, you look down here. Right. So in Brownville, Texas, where border crosses are being released, city officials are having to test for the coronavirus city uh, since city officials began uh, testing on January 25th, they told NBC News that almost 110 border crossers have tested positive. This is a positivity rate of 6.3%. Even after border crossers test positive, at least in Brownsville, they are not required to quarantine. Border crossers interviewed by uh, NBC News said that they had tested positive, but were planning to continue in traveling throughout the U.S. interiors to states like North Carolina, my state. God, oh my God, oh my God. <sighs> Jesus. Okay. Anyways, Maryland and New Jersey. This is the Biden administration. This is the Biden administration. So they test positive. Not only do they test positive, they don't have to quarantine. And then they're released. Hey, just go wherever you want. Go wherever you want. Right? Just go. Go. You're free. You're free. This is the Biden administration, guys. The report comes as Biden just today said there is no crisis at the U.S.-Mexican border. Uh, on uh, Monday, uh, DHS Secretary Alejandro Mar Marquez uh, also said there was no crisis at the border, claiming the administration is managing a massive influx of illegal immigration and releases of border crosses into the U.S. interior. Really, there should be no releases. The management should be none of y'all can come in right now we have a pandemic i'm sorry we have our own issues to deal with and see this is why trump's messaging on america last is so damn effective this is the reason why it's so effective the reason why it's so effective is because of stupid decisions like this from the biden administration right this is something that trump can easily frame and get on in which he did at his cpac speech in which he ate biden up over this type of stuff immigration i think he spent probably at least a fourth of his speech talking about biden and immigration guys there's a reason why because again this sounds like an america last agenda this sounds like biden administration putting their 2045 goals ahead of 
the lives of American people, while at the same time they try to lecture and virtue signal to Republicans and conservatives about this virus, about opening up their states. I mean, it's it's really ridiculous. The hypocrisy is at an all time high here, right? When it comes to the Biden administration. Senator Tom Cotton, along with other Senate Republicans, demanded answers from the Biden administration last month on their release of border crossers without coronavirus testing requirements at the Breitbart News Press White House Secretary Jen Psaki on the issue. Days later, DHS officials confirmed to Breitbart News that border crossers were, in fact, being released into the U.S. interior without being tested for the coronavirus. Quote, uh, President Biden's border crisis is a super spreader event cotton wrote on tuesday so true elected democrats last week urged the biden administration to go further in releasing border crossings um, crossers into the u.s interior without being tested for coronavirus in a letter to Americas, uh 61 house democrats requested that the dhs and the center for disease controls title 42 order that has kept a rush at the border from occurring According to House Republicans, the Democrats wrote that the Biden administration ought to be releasing all foreign nationals arriving at the U.S. border into the U.S. interior without testing requirements so as to not spread the coronavirus in foreign countries. Again, America last agenda. Let's have immigrants come into our country and spread the virus here. Because we don't want to spread it in the other countries like Mexico. Can you believe that? Can you believe that, guys? I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. Thanks to Title 42, nearly 460,000 border crossers have been expelled and deported from the U.S. since March 2020. In the last uh, four months alone, between 62,000 and 65,000 border crossers have been expelled and deported monthly under Title 42. As Breitbart News exclusively reported, Biden's DHS is considering ending Title 42. All right, so there you have it, guys. More of Biden's America last agenda. And like I said, guys, from the beginning of this video, this is just another example of the hypocrisy from the Democrats that really is spilling over into uh, policy, right? This, this is policy that I think is really just reckless. And I think the Republicans need to hammer on this hard okay because this is not about the culture war right this ain't the culture war stuff this is real policies that are uh that could potentially harm americans and it's not helping us during a time like this during a time like this we we need to be quarantining and isolating ourselves as individuals according to the democrats why does it not make sense to quarantine and isolate ourselves as a country apparently that doesn't make sense for the democrats so let me know what you guys think Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.